The automatic test system in polar construction is designed for the testing of metals or plastics. The test system consists of the following individual components. The robot to transport the specimens to the different measurement stations. The variable specimen magazine with a capacity to hold up to 250 dumbbell specimens. The cross-section measuring device for the determination of specimen width and specimen thickness. The materials testing machine with specimen grips plus extensometers for the performance of tensile tests. And the specimen removal containers to dispose of tested specimens. Now follows a typical specimen throughput. First, the operator feeds the specimen holders with specimens outside the danger zone. One specimen holder can hold up to 25 specimens. These specimen holders may also be taken out of the magazine to refill them outside the magazine. Then, the magazine is inserted again and the operator enters the corresponding data of the test series into the database. Alternatively, these data may also be supplied automatically through a host computer system. Now the robot takes the first specimen out of the magazine. The order of the specimens to be tested may be defined individually. The first measurement station after the removal of the specimen from the magazine is the cross-section measuring device. Here, specimen width and thickness are determined by means of four sensor arms. Then the specimen is transported to the testing machine for the tensile test. First of all, the specimen grips close. Then the feelers are attached and the tensile test starts automatically. After the test, the two specimen remains are put into the specimen removal containers. Both when starting the system and after a predetermined number of specimens, a reference measurement with a calibration block is carried out with the cross-section measuring device. The robot takes the calibration block out of its deposit and transports it to the cross-section measuring device. Then three reference measurements are carried out which are then compared with the certificate of the calibration block. The criteria according to which the specimens are to be disposed of can be freely defined. Specimens with a maximum force of less than 50 kN are disposed of in container A and specimens with a maximum force greater than or equal to 50 kN are disposed of in container B. Any number of removal containers may be defined and selected. The circular arrangement of the devices with the robot located in the middle allows extensions at a later moment in time. For example, a roughness measurement unit, a hardness tester or a barcode reader may be integrated. Manual tests can also be performed at any time with the automatic test system presented here. For this purpose, the robot is moved into the parking position so that the testing machine is easily accessible from the front. A retraining is not necessary because the test software, Test Expert, is used both for the manual and automatic operation.
Subjective influences are excluded by the high positioning accuracy of the automatic test system. When carrying out manual tests, these may, through different users, negatively influence the quality of the test results. The reproducibility of the testing requirements, according to DIN ISO 9001, is guaranteed. Because of the low test costs per specimen, the test system with automatic specimen feeding will pay off within approximately two years. Zwick. Intelligent Testing.